Hi beautiful people, welcome back. Hope everybody is doing fantastic wherever you are in this world. Hope everybody is having a great week so far. I am not going to even lie to you guys. My heart was so sore the whole day today, just thinking about the Chrisleys, the whole family. Some people just can't handle being petty, childish, whatever you want to call it, but we'll get into that. But before that, my usual disclaimer, please do not take what I say as fact. Feel free to do your own research and come to your own conclusion. I was really just going about my business and in constant prayer for the whole Chrisley family. If you guys don't know today, Todd and Julie Chrisley actually surrendered and are now in prison starting their prison sentence after being found guilty of tax fraud. Now, before I go any further, let me make myself very clear. I'm not saying that someone who breaks the law shouldn't be held accountable. Todd and Julie Chrisley lost their trial and was convicted by a jury of their peers and now they are facing the consequences. And the repercussion for that too is that they are leaving behind their five children, their grandson and Todd's mother. And also bearing in mind Nanny Faye is dealing with cancer. At the end of the day, there's still hope. And I say that because you should know that Todd and Julie Chrisley actually appealed this case. And if you want to look at it or look at the bright side of it, anything can happen. They could win the appeal and them being in prison is a day counted. If it's one day, if it's one year. But at least it's whatever happens with this appeal, it's time served. That's all I'm saying. Now we can all remember that Todd Chrisley actually sued Katie Joy. And let me emphasize this, she settled with Todd Chrisley. She didn't win the lawsuit, she settled. Because as you're going to see from Todd Chrisley's statement after they settled this lawsuit, the way he put the word extremely in all upper caps, to me that I'm assuming means he got what he wanted. And I say that because... Look at when she got sued by Tati Westbrook. What happened in that case? She settled. What did she get out of that? The only thing that I can think of is they allowed her to say that she wasn't found liable for whatever she did. Because Tati Westbrook walked away with Katie Joy giving up her source. The one that holds herself so high as a bona fide celebrity journalist that gave her source up? Get the fuck out of here, Katie Joy. She made the statement to which says, my company without a crystal ball and I have reached a settlement in our lawsuits with Todd Chrisley, settling all parties' claims. No liability was admitted by either side or adjudicated. As a result of that settlement, I will not be speaking publicly about Mr. Chrisley, his companies, or his family. Mr. Chrisley has agreed to the same terms with regard to me, my company, and my family. Thank you. Todd Chrisley also put out a statement which read, I've been getting questions about my litigation with Katie Joy. All I'll say is that we've reached a settlement that I'm extremely, in all caps, happy with. As part of that, neither of us will be publicly discussing the other or the other's family going forward. Not at all. I'm glad to be able to put this out of my mind for good and won't be discussing this matter further. So, in my opinion, Todd Chrisley kept to his side of the settlement. And in my opinion, I think Katie Joy breached this. To which, as I said today, Todd and Julie Chrisley surrendered and are now in prison. And Katie Joy, without a crystal ball, could not help herself. To which she posted this on Facebook. Welcome to the newest residents to Florida, staying for a combined 19 years. Today is a good day to celebrate the end of nightmare. And this bona fide celebrity journalist didn't even do her due diligence. To know that Julie Chrisley was actually transferred to a different facility in Kentucky. Finding out 
this information and had to go to a Facebook and edit that post to the correct information. So this was her Instagram post. Welcome to the newest resident to Florida, staying for 12 years. Today is a good day to celebrate the end of nightmare. To me, that sounds like Todd Chrisley actually lived rent free in your brain on a daily basis because shouldn't that nightmare have ended the day you settled with him? I'm just wondering. You guys can actually pause and read these comments where she actually participated with her blind followers where they were being absolutely disgusting, celebrating the downfall or the misfortunes of these two people whose kids are hurting and in emotional pain. Now let me turn your focus onto KJ's enabler, AKA Todd Paulson. Her husband posted this, and these are two adults acting like children. He post, later losers, to which she post another meme. I was absolutely right. What were you right about, Katie Joy? What were you right about? Now, before I move any further, you know what? I will admit, I am biased towards this family. I watched these kids grow up through their show over the years. They were so entertaining. And most of all, to see their granddaughter, who was now their daughter, grow up and have these parents be by her side, especially this young little girl that's a person of color and how they maneuver situations in her life and are there for her during her hardest times. The thing that I commend them for, they had a person of color as her nanny, you know, so she could actually relate to somebody. And that to me is a gold star in my book. Now, Katie Joy, let me tell you about yourself. You claim to be a mother, but then yet again, you claim to be a lot of things. As a mother, no matter what these parents did, especially knowing that they surrendered themselves and they are out of their lives now and will be serving countless years away from their kids as a decent human being, as a human being with a heart, you would automatically be heart sore for Chloe, Grayson, Chase, Savannah, Lindsay, the grandson, and Nanny Faye. Those are the people that automatically came to mind. My heart broke for them. But you are incapable, but not you. Because you're such a fucking narcissist that everything is about you. So you took this tragedy and made it all about you and how you feel you were right. This has fuck all to do with you because when you stood with Todd Chrisley, you brought upon yourself because you were so thirsty for clout that you bragged to thousands of your followers that you were best friends with Lindsay Chrisley, Todd Chrisley's daughter. You had her back. But in turn, what happened? She didn't even acknowledge you. You look like an idiot. So you had the back of somebody that just didn't even acknowledge you, that denounced you. So for you to come out and make this all about yourself, it's not about you, Katie Joy. These people are taking accountability for their actions. You are incapable of taking accountability, yet very capable of always playing the victim. Those kids need our prayers. Those kids are more important than you will ever be right now, Katie Joy. You should be ashamed of yourself. You don't even have it 
in you to take anything away from yourself and put it towards somebody else. You are the most vile, petty, disgusting, jealous person I've ever come across. You are nothing but a hater. You need to grow thick skin, especially when you proclaim yourself to be a bona fide celebrity journalist, Katie Joy. When you want respect, you got to earn respect. You are so incapable of showing at least an inkling of compassion, empathy, sympathy, at least a little bit of concern towards the youngest, Chloe. But you don't have it in you because you're so fucking thirsty for clout, for recognition, for credibility. Todd and Julie Chrisley has been convicted by a jury of their peers for a little crime. Yet you chose, you chose to make yourself a prisoner in your own home. And you know how the saying goes, Katie Joy? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. But once again, you're incapable of that. Because it's all about you. That's how desperate you are to be vindicated from what? I don't know. You have no morals, no dignity. You, in my opinion, Katie Joy, will never be respected by decent human beings. You take pleasure in other people's pain. You're not loyal. You're manipulative. You're incapable of being a decent human being, which you have. Everybody's capable of doing better. And the ugliest thing that can be seen in a human being is a human being without compassion. The purpose of human life is to show compassion and the will to help others. The nature of humanity is to feel others' pain as your own and to act, to take that pain away. There is nobility in compassion, beauty in empathy, and so much grace in forgiveness. Try it, Katie Joy. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening. I appreciate each and every one of you. Lastly, a huge favor. Please continue to pray for this family. On your way out, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and the notification so be notified each time I upload. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Please be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And don't forget, make good memories. Bye, guys.